This video is for everyone, including but not excluded to Daniel Kirk. And if you want to get your name in the jar of names, all you have to do is keep commenting on these videos. And if you can tell us what film we have referenced in this episode, then let us know. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls who? Yeah, that's right. Owls who? <laughs> and this is uh, what we're going to be making today. It's a toy owl, which you make from a bit of fabric and cotton wool and stuff. Uh, my little sister, Purple Cookie, has actually made one of these before. We actually used it in the bad joke video a while back. Uh, but I think it's time for make one of our own. So let's start off with uh, what you will need. Cotton wool, two buttons, heart-shaped felt or fabric, triangle-shaped felt or fabric, a large piece of felt or fabric, needle and thread. Step one, face them laughing. So this was not actually the first step I've written down, but it is actually the first step because everything else would be difficult if you did it the other way around. But the first one to do is you want to attach the eyes onto the heart-shaped piece of felt. I'm using felt, but fabric's probably better because it's a little bit thinner. Oh, that's something I've discovered with felt is a bit too thick. But uh, attach the eyes onto the heart-shaped fabric, sort of place them sort of just below the two circle bits at the top. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put the needle through the back first, go through the holes, and then go across to the adjacent hole, which is the one on the other side. And then as you come through the other side again, uh, just do like the, cro the other side so it makes a cross in the center of the eyes. And then do that for both eyes. And then you'll want to attach the beak, which is the small yellow piece of fabric. Uh, basically just attach it underneath the eyes to make a, an owl face. And then all you need to do is attach this onto uh, the large piece of felt, which is cut into a shape similar to what you can see on screen now. There is some debate between myself and myself about which way to do it. You can either do it so that uh, you can have the heart-shaped face at the top of the rounded end, or at the other end where the, it's the straight line. I feel like this is uh, where you can decide what you want to make. You can do it at the straight line end, where the two corners will look a bit like owl ears or you can put it at the other end and make it look like something else now I know I'm trying to be making a toy owl here but it looks an awful lot like a penguin and Purple Cookies is a big fan of penguins so it went for a penguin instead but it's still the same, it's just flipped around a little bit so it's still how you make a toy owl but this looks more like a penguin especially with the colours that I've chosen so when you decide which way to put it on you just simply need to sew it on again starting with the back going through the front Step two, split sides. So now what you need to do is sew two of the pieces together. You have uh, obviously the piece with the face on it, and then you have the opposite side, which is the back. Now for this one, uh, you need to leave the uh, side with the straight line unsewn. So it's open, so you can stuff it in a second in the next step. And this is where the felt and the fabric thing comes into play. This is something what we've discovered when we were making this. Basically, you're supposed to do it so that the face is facing inward, so then you turn it inside out when you're finished, so that you won't see the stitching. However, because felt is a little bit too thick, it's not quite as thin as fabric, uh, I did a over-the-top stitch, which as you can see here is where you put it through the fabric, and you go over the outside, then back through the, sa well, back through the same side, and just keep looping round. Uh, it's called an overstitch, and that's what I did because it was obviously a bit thicker than fabric. But if it was fabric, you would just do a normal, simple uh, th pattern where it's in, then down, then out, then up, then down, and up, then down, and up, down, and up. And then you will simply just uh, fold it inside out. So if you're doing that way, make sure that you've put it on the right side so that when you turn it inside out, the face will be on the outside. Step three, left in stitches. So now that you've left the top or the bottom open, you can stuff it with the cotton wool. I've used some cotton pads and I've just ripped them apart to make some cotton wool. Uh, I think I actually just overfilled it slightly on mine because it was starting to poke out the top, but it's not too bad. It's, it's up to you how thick you do it. If you're using fabric, it'll be a little bit easier. You can stuff a, stuff a bit more in there, but felt, obviously, it's quite thick, so it's hard to put any more in there than is necessary. But when you've properly stuffed your owl and fluffed it up, uh, you just need to sew up the top with the same stitching you were doing earlier, and you will have a toy owl, or in this case a penguin. And here he is, my little owl, or in this case, penguin, uh, but I should call it Soren of Clud. But any owl that I have, I'm going to be obviously calling Mr. Owl, he's like he's from the Dark Cloud Let's Play that I did on my other channel, he's always been called Mr. Owl, owns a shop he does. Although he is a penguin, so maybe he can be like a confused penguin, and he can, he can be called Little Owl. 
because he thinks he's an owl, but secretly he's a penguin. But this video is yours to do with as you wish. Now, uh, you can, of course, you can like it, you can share it, but remember, we are all each other's family now. Owls and penguins alike.